And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spider aggro. Going to be our first deck today. We got four donation decks to play. Uh, we're going to be starting off with an aggressive spider list. Um, this deck is is pretty good. You know, like it's going to be similar to like the fearsome decks you're playing, but it's going to be even faster and we're going to be more focused on nexus damage. So we're going to try to get ahead right away with all of these cheap little spiders attack. We're going to be going wide with like house spider and try to swarm our opponent and do as much damage as we can because then we can finish the game out with cards like Imperial Demolitionist and Doom Beast being able to deal two damage to the enemy nexus each and then Decimate being able to do four damage to the enemy nexus. We also have Stalking Shadows that can provide reach where Stalking Shadows can almost be like a Decimate if we can uh, use Stalking Shadows to find Imperial Demolitionist or Doom Beast, either one of those. We also have Noxion Fervor being able to do some Nexus damage as well. So we have a lot of reach. And then finally, one Captain Farron at the top end uh, for if we have our opponents stabilize. So pretty pretty cool little burn deck here. I think what we're going to struggle with are the decks with a lot of cheap removal and can do one damage very easily. So like your Go Hard decks and your Twisted Fate decks. Twisted Fate um, with the red card can just wipe us out from, from going wide because we have just a lot of one health units. So that's what that's the kind of matchup that I don't want to face. But um, besides that, we're doing pretty good. The what, one card that's... You know, I'm not sure exactly which cop what card to play. We're going to play Crowd Favorite here. Or of course, Crowd Favorite rewards us for going wide and gives us a really big threat that we can hit with a big Overwhelm threat. Um, plus, Crowd Favorite works kind of well with Stalking Shadows, right? Like, that gives us another target for Stalking Shadows in the late game that we can find um, a big damage output. Um, some people play this list with Unspeakable Horror instead of Crowd Favorite. You know, so that's the one that... Um, I like both cards, we're going to try Crowd Favor. I think we're going to go with that, especially because of, like, Stalking Shadows. But Unspeakable Horror is very good, too, because that that's just... It's just one Nexus damage, but it is a Nexus damage. And then you get those Nightfall cards, which, for the most part, the Nightfall cards are pretty strong. And uh, that's a good bonus. So there's there's an option there. If we end up playing these games and Crowd Favorite isn't very good, then we can think about maybe replacing that with Unspeakable Horror moving forward. Um... That's something to think about. All right, but anyway, here we go. Let's give it a try. Spider aggro. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Leeson and Zed. Hopefully we can be faster than them. Eye of the Dragon is the card we do not want to see. Um, that's a card they're going to be mulliganing for. So I have Precious Pet into Arachnoid Horror. I'm going to just keep this. Yeah, so I... Basically, turn three, I just want to find a, a two drop or less. So we can have, like, play two drop, play onlooker. That would give us four bodies. And then we have crowd favorite. <clears throat> so Mountain Goat can just block the Arachnoid Horror. Okay. But the that's, like, the bad news. If I would have just gone to attack, we would have still got two damage in anyway, so... Um, the good news is they didn't play the 1-3, so that's the good news. All these onlookers and everything, though, are better when attacking. In the darkness. Okay, that Zed's just gonna, like, kill us super fast. Darkness. Maybe I shouldn't be playing defensively at all. But I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about that, that Zed just killing us super fast. <clears throat> Good morning, Agent Iowa. Just, <clears throat> I think we let Zed level up because we want to keep these things in play for crowd favorite. I am the Only the yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Remember the objectives. Um, 
Elise is still a strong champion for... Because Elise just does a lot for two... It's only a two-mana card, understand? So it's... Um, for just a two-mana card, being you know, two, three fearsome that puts bodies into play, that's very efficient for a two-mana card. Plus, of course, you have the uh, the ability to level up Elise and you know just take over combat with all the fearsome. Like it's it's a it's a strong card for for two mana. I guess I'm just attacking. Do not disappoint me. I know we could go crowd favorite first, but that just kind of allows them... Like, if I go crowd favorite first, that allows them to Concussive Palm. Extend your senses. GG's, hopefully. Alright, good. No guiding touch. Alright, wanna know. Elise has got to be the best two mana champion, right? I can't, I can't really think of other. What are other two mana champions? Diana. Ooh, Diana's good. Yeah, Diana's also good. We can't play spiders. We're playing spiders. Can't spider our spiders. Ooh, Lucian. Yep, Lucian's another good one. Okay, there are there are some good. I pull the there are some good ones. We could use a bite. Try me. Perfect Say. card for them. That's the best card they could have. So two out of five for game flank. I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Alright, just perfect hand. Perfect one, two, three. I have my orders. We're not sitting back. We're trying to get as much damage in. We got eight Nexus damage here with these cards. Wow, that is not very much blocking. Damn it. Question is, will we be able to unload these eight cards or not? We'll this doesn't change to unload these damn thing between us. We're at three out of five. So I was thinking Demolitionist plus Doom Beast because Doom Beast gets to drain. I mean, because basically Demolitionist plus Doom Beast is, is a Decimate, but we also heal our Nexus for two. So it's just like double Decimating. Decimate should finish them out. <laughs> Triple decimate. All right, GG's two and zero. They probably should not have just gone down to eight, but maybe they weren't expecting eight nexus damage. This may not be good. Avalanche and Withering Whale. Like, if they have, you know, Avalanche and Withering Whale, we're not good against those two cards. I'll send them all back. Let's, tr let's try again. Okay, I like Stalking Shadows. And, of course, I like having a one-drop. Okay, the Sands turned into looking a lot better than what we had. Don't love the Frenzied Skitters, but... I do like Pet, Elise, Stalking Shadows. 
There's nothing to fear. And I don't want to play Frenzied Skitter before attacking because of Avalanche. Hush now. We're just going to attack. So Elise is gonna level up either way. I would rather Elise level up with the Skitter. Like I'd rather save the House Spider for after to help us go wide still for after. Um, like they go Avalanche this turn. I'd rather them Avalanche away the Frenzy Skitter. And that also worked out well with me drawing the Arachnoid Horror. I get to play House Spider and Arachnoid Horror. Yeah, I do, Game Fanatic. I edit the YouTube videos just cut to take out um, spots like where I'm thinking or the opponent's thinking. Try to take out some dead time and shorten it up. It's also a good draw. Yeah, they had Avalanche and Withering Whale. <clears throat> Had them both. All right, I'll go. I'll go Doom Beast instead of going Fervor. Oh, that does put them to eight? I was thinking that was going to put them to seven. Puts them to eight? Okay, they don't have... Oh, the thing that really hurts there anyway. Okay, let's see. So we got three things. So we're looking at five, four crowd favorite. It's not bad. I stand for Noxus! Hey, Nia Tunes, Happy Thanksgiving. Wow, so they had Avalanche and Withering Whale, and then double Kindly Tavern Keeper, and also ramped good with the Catalyst plus Weirding Stones. That's a pretty awesome hand. Are they going to just also have, like, Ruination? I mean, I'm, I'm not playing around Ruination. We're going to be in, in trouble trying to win this game anyway. I can't really play around it. The people are my strength. Oh gosh, what a Wow, what an amazing hand. Wow. So I was planning on having that 3-3 challenge one of these and then you know my 2-1 challenge, the Ledros. But, you know, now that's gone away, and now they have an additional blocker. Kings and vagrants alike will fall. Who would face me? Oh, yeah, Game Fanatic, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, with the... Or I'll, we'll talk about that here after the game. Gonna beat that. Incredible hand. GG's. That was perfect. Darn, I don't want to face this. <laughs> this is the same thing. Another deck filled with Avalanche and Withering Whale, and now in Nivea to go attack all of our stuff. That is not what I want to face at all. I'm going to keep the Captain Farron, um, even though we're not going to be playing it for eight turns, but I don't want to shuffle it back in and then just never draw it. 
because <clears throat> this could certainly be a really important thing to have because this deck's slower than the ramp deck because they're not ramping but because they're sl since they're slower they're gonna have more defense I have my orders let's go I know what lurks in the shadows hopefully my opponent doesn't have as good a hand as my last opponent Cool, Choo Choo. Yeah, that Shivana Lux deck is, is really cool. You won't suffer long. You dare. Pretty good vile feast. At the end of the day, I just traded one for one. Now you've gone and upset it. This will take the chill off. Mm. If only those suitors were as lovely as you. Explosives primed. No, I'm not playing around Avalanche. Nothing escapes my watch. Now you've gone and upset it. All right, at least leveled up. As silk. The homestead. Okay. Please don't have Avalanche. Yeah, they just drew it. That was the card they drew. That's that's what it looked like with that attack. That looked like I I just drew Avalanche. I know they have an Anivia, but Anivia can't block uh, these two because it would be a 2 4. Ooh, that's a good attack. So yes, that kills Frenzied Skitter with the the attack does one damage and it kills these, but I just I just want to get the two damage in uh, while we can, while we know they're not going to use a removal spell in response. Snow, wind, and ice. Oh, I guess I could have I could have thrown a blocker out there, but oh well. Could have blocked it. We'll see if that two life matters. Welcome to the Stop. I don't like we faced four ta kindly tavern keepers the last two games. I don't like it. Cause that just slows me down, or you know, like lets them survive an entire turn. We faced way too many avalanche, withering whale, and kindly tavern keeper the last two games. I don't like it. Oh, come on. All three of them? This one's on the house. Now I have, like, you know, now just like any kind of life gain card with. You know, their deck has plenty of life gain cards, now just any one of them keeps them alive. We only have one Captain Farron in the deck. So if I go 
I have the mana to go Doom Beast, Doom Beast, Fervor, and that's 7 damage. Kind of just want to play the Decimate, though. No, maybe we go this way. This way. They've healed their Nexus for 12 this game. <laughs> They're down to three. They've played three Conley, they played three Conley Tavern Keepers. All right, so that's a Harsh Winds. So they'd have to have like Vile Feast. Just gonna fire this off. Hopefully no Vile Feast. Cool. But I guess Captain Farron's probably only gonna matter in those kind of matchups. But I kinda wanna play a second Farron with two crowd favorite. Okay, we got Precious Pet into House Spider. That's good. I think that. Uh, I think I'm going to keep all of these. I think that uh, Nocturne Fervor could be really important at killing a Misfortune because of how fast Misfortune races. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep them all. So I can shadow good. Not the most aggressive of hands, but be pretty decent. Okay, so house, if I play House Spider here, they could have like the two mana 2-3. Two, uh, Bilgewater card, higher gun, but probably not. My yeah, I'm not scared of Bright Steel Protector. But I don't think I let them kill the Spiderling for free. Okay. So I'll take that. We still did, like, just like if we would have attacked immediately, we would have dealt 2 damage. We still dealt that 2 damage, but then had our 2-2 two -two trade with our 3-2. We'll take that. Looking for trouble. It's you. Violet! Thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. No reason not to play this first. I just don't really have like the things to do one damage to right now. I don't want to see the Grizzled Ranger. They're just passing. Explosives primed. The ocean whispers our secrets. Poor Plunder Poro. Violet with some more bits. Happy Thanksgiving. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We'll find our enemies wherever they hide. All right, I think I should have taken De Demolitionist. <clears throat> um. Bless is Mosha. I'm not as concerned about Quinn. Are we using this fervor upstairs, I think? Always forward. The people are my strength. We'll get him crowd favorite. Let's me just go right to attacks. And their swords. And we can fervor them. Close my eyes, make it fair. You've made your path. That's 
far enough. Man, they're having the 2-4 block a 1-1 one, one instead of a 2-power? That's risky. It's pretty risky. Alright, well, GG's. We'll take it. Alright, good 4-1 with Spider Aggro. Crowd favorite looked good there. Probably better than what Unspeakable Horror would have looked. Alright, so I, I shouldn't have taken the Saboteur, though. I should have taken the Demolitionist um, with the Stalking Shadows that last game. But yeah, good old Spider Aggro. The Captain Farron was awesome at the top end. Oh no! You come back, Captain. I didn't mean to take you out. Everything else worked worked well. Like, you know, it's just a good, aggressive deck. And very impressed that we beat the Anivia Control deck. Of course, we only did because of Captain Farron, but beating an Avalanche Withering Whale deck. Like, those are going to be your cards that you're going to struggle the most against, right? Avalanche, Withering Whale, Twisted Fate, Red Card. Those are going to be the tough cards. And so we faced two of those decks, two decks with those kind of cards. And we went 1-1, one, one, but and uh, we ended up being able to outrace everything else. Um, yeah, it, it was a definitely impressive against both the other aggro decks, the Scouts and the um, the Noxus, Bilgewater, you know, the Pirate Burn. You know, they had turn one, Precious Pet, turn two, Legion Saboteur, turn three, Misfortune. They didn't have a very good turn four, but then turn five, Gangplank, and then we killed them. Um, so, like, that, that's, like, you know, like, their best start, and we killed them very quickly. That was impressive. Lots of lots of nexus damage. It was it was good. The decimates, the fervors, and then you know demolitionist and doom beast. It's a really good plan. I like how you can outrace people with all that nexus damage. All right, so there's spider aggro. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, I always appreciate those. I uh, really do. But I also really appreciate you all for watching. Thank you very much. And of course, I'll see you for the next video.